Is it too late to buy Rocket Lab? Rocket Lab this year is already up 76%, but the rocket really took off around a month ago. Since a month ago, the stock is up 45%. In the last five years, the stock is up over 30%. Now it has a market cap of $4.86 billion and a forward EV2 sales ratio of 9.8. Now this is still a small company. I mean, if we believe the investment thesis, if we believe what this company could achieve in years and years to come, not next year, not in the next two years, but let's say in the next 10 years plus, then $4.86 billion is quite small. Now, of course, there's still a long, long way to go. Still waiting for Neutron, which will only happen probably in the second half or mid-2025. Now, that said, that doesn't mean that the current business cannot continue to grow. No, actually, the current business is growing fast, maybe not as fast as before, but still growing fast and is on track to become profitable by 2026, 2027, according to most analysts. Now, sales-wise, sales-wise, as you can see here, analysts are expecting sales to grow 73% year over year in 2024, followed by 40% in 2025, fiscal 2025, that is, then another 48.6% in fiscal 2026. So still a high growth company. Now, of course, as we know, space stuff launches can be delayed, can explode, can cost a lot of money. So there are still some risks, although we're all, well, most of us that are watching these videos, most of us that hold shares are quite bullish on the future of this company. There still are some risks, but there is a reason why we have a position in Rocket Lab. There is a reason why we've been talking about this company for a while. Yes, finally, finally, we're getting that little, let's say, time of glory. Maybe next week the stock will be down 10%, 15%, maybe 20%, who knows? But, I mean, it had a short interest of, what, 15% or so in the last couple of days? It's not out of the ordinary to see it go up so quickly. But, of course, the question is... Is it too late? Is it too late to buy Rocket Lab? What am I doing? Well, I'll share all of that in this video. If you enjoy this type of videos, hit all the buttons, like, subscribe, do all of that. Would really appreciate it. If you want to support me even further, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment with the top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to full.com forward slash couch investor. Thank you very much. Now, right now, just so you know, the average analyst price target sits 21.6% lower than the price we're at today. So the average analyst price target sits at $7.00 and 66 cents. That said, the last couple of days, we did have an analyst at KeyBank Capital Markets that has increased its price target, went from $8 to $11. The firm hosted a non-deal roadshow with the company and came away with increased confidence in the company's ability to scale its business. And the firm continues to believe it is positioning itself to be an industry leader in both launch services and satellite manufacturing and design. The analyst tells investors in a research note, I did not get more information, I did not find more information. If you did, do send it through my DMs on X. We also had some great news with regards to Varda Space Industries. So Rocket Lab completes second spacecraft for Varda Space Industries, advancing in space manufacturing. So the global leader in launch services and space systems has completed testing and integration of its second pioneer spacecraft for Varda Space Systems, the world's first in-space pharmaceutical processing and hypersonic earth re-entry logistics company. Rocket Lab's first pioneer spacecraft for Varda was launched in June 2023. Varda successfully crystallized the HIV drug Ritonavir while on orbit and Rocket Lab and Varda successfully landed the re-entry capsule in the Utah desert in February 2024. The company is now preparing Varda's second mission during which Rocket Lab and Varda will once again conduct in-space operations, re-entry positioning maneuvers and the orbiting to recover Varda's capsule. Varda received permission from the FAA under a Part 450 license earlier this month, making them the only company to ever secure a second re-entry license. Now, with regards to Rocket Lab's financial situation, these were the numbers from last quarter. Revenue came in at $106 million, highest revenue quarter to date that was up 15% quarter over quarter and 71% year over year. The backlog was over a billion dollars. It only increased, I think, 5% quarter over quarter. So let's hope for a small reacceleration in Q3. Revenue growth driven by increase in launches and significant growth in our space system business. 
Now, if we zoom out a little bit, we can of course see that revenue growth has decelerated. Of course, as the numbers increase, now, yes, of course, still a small company. If you want to reach that $100 billion market cap in 10 years or so, then the growth rates will need to stay quite high, right? Now, growth rates have decreased, but we've seen a reacceleration there. So revenue continues to increase quite nicely. Gross profit margin is increasing as well now at 25%. That's in the last 12 months. If you look at the two revenue generating segments, we've got launch services revenue and space system revenue. Launch services has increased 346% since Q1 2022, and the space systems one has increased by 125.3%. Looking at the gross profit of each of those segments, launch services gross profit is the blue line right here, is starting to become more and more profitable, while space systems has increased 1,341% since Q2 2021. Now looking at the guidance provided, the guidance for Q3 revenue is expected to be in the range of $100 to $105 million, which means it will be down around 3.6% quarter over quarter, but up 51% year over year. They expect space system revenue of 79 to 84 million dollars and they currently anticipate launch service revenue of approximately 21 million dollars. As for gap and non-gap gross margins, they expect gap gross margins to be between 25 to 27 percent while non-gap gross margin will come at between 30 to 32 percent. Now adjusted EBITDA loss is expected to be between 31 to 33 million dollars. Now, you might probably ask yourself the question, because the stock has gone up so much more recently, are they going to raise money? Because, well, just take the opportunity of a higher valuation right now to raise money, which of course will dilute shareholders, but could it benefit the long-term health of the company, the long-term vision? Could it accelerate something? Could they use that money to maybe acquire a company? Because we've been hearing about M&As. Could it be? Yes. It could, although I'm not really seeing a huge, huge premium on Rocket Lab right now, but would I mind? No, if the money is used in the correct way, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind being diluted a little bit right now in the short run. If this increases Rocket Lab's probability of reaching those $100 billion valuations in the future. Now, of course, that's just me. Do share your thoughts down in the comment section below. Now, looking at the chart right now, we did go over $10. We did not end the week over $10, but RSI on the weekly is now, of course, overbought after that huge green candle. Now, previously, $8 was a problem, was a resistance point. We were rejected there back in July of 2023, but this time we really went through it. Now, if there is a retracing of this stock, if it pulls back a little bit, I would expect $8 to serve as a sort of support this time. Will it go back to $8? I don't know. I can just show you what I'm seeing here on the chart. And just to finish it off, the 200 day moving average sits at $5.17, the 50 day one at $6.13, and the 20 day one at $6.78. Now to answer the question again, is it too late to buy Rocket Lab? No, I don't think so. I think the company will be much, much bigger in the future. Should you buy it right now? Well, I just answered the same thing I've answered in all of the videos where I asked this question. I would rather buy during red days than during green ones. Just risk reward wise, makes more sense. And of course, if we're thinking about a 10x opportunity here, then what does it matter, right? What does it matter if you buy it $9.78 or if you buy it at $9 or $8? Well, it does matter a little bit. You can always dollar cost average, but it does matter a little bit. So that's about it. Look for red days, better opportunities. I still believe in the long-term future of Rocket Lab. Yes, it still is a small, small position of my portfolio, but I intend to grow that position in the future. So that's about it for me in this video. Do share your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, do all of that, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.